I was diagnosed stage three in 2007. What happened with me is I'd been having my yearly mammograms. I never had any lumps. I never had any, any problems. There's no breast cancer in my family. I have been healthy all my life. I had no reason to think I had anything going on, except I developed an itch in my armpit. And it was an insatiable itch that it was crazy. I, and I kept thinking it was my deodorant, that it was an allergy. But one night I rolled over in my sleep and it actually hurt. So the next day I went to an urgent care and um, the doctor felt and he said, oh, you've got swollen lymph nodes. You know, you've probably got an infection in your body somewhere. You've got a cold and, um, you know, come back in a couple of weeks if it's not better. And then he discharged me. But as he as for whatever reason, he said, wait a minute, I want to do one test. So I want to do an ultrasound of the area before you leave. So we went back in and he did the ultrasound and I was laying there and the tech, there was a big black area that I looked at and she took a deep breath. She went, oh. and I was like, what? And she said, you know, they can't tell you anything, but she already blew it by her response when she saw it. She called the doctor back in and he looked at it and then uh, went to the room and he says, you need to get in and have some tests done. There's something showing up and you need to have it looked at. The next day I called my, uh, my gynecologist <laughs> and he ordered a mammogram and an ultrasound of the area and within, so I, and then I had a, a biopsy done. I had the, they saw the, the spot on the ultrasound. They ordered a biopsy within the next day or two and then like the next day after that I found out that I had breast cancer. So at that point, I had the mastectomy first. I also had unknown primary. I had no cancer of any kind in any breast, but they wanted to do the mastectomy just to see if maybe I did because they couldn't find anything. So I had the mastectomy. There was no cancer in my breast. It was unknown primary. So they had to send all the pathology to, they sent it to the Mayo Clinic to evaluate. They couldn't decide if it was lung cancer or breast cancer. Ultimately, we went with breast cancer as that was what the cells looked more like or whatever. I don't know. So, okay, I had the mastectomy. I had chemotherapy, the really heavy-duty red devil that probably a lot of women that are looking at this know exactly what it is. The name is very appropriate and not to scare anybody, but it's bad. It's of all the 10 years that I've been doing this, that was the hardest thing to get through but you just have to do it. And once you get through it, you get over the symptoms and you're good. So I had the red devil, I had radiation, and I had reconstruction surgery. And then that took about two years. At that point, I had a PET scan that showed no evidence of disease. So I asked my oncologist what I need to do now. Do I come back for follow-ups or, and he said, no, you know, just whenever you have a symptom, let me know. Well, whatever that meant. So then I went about my life. I thought I was done. You know, my limited knowledge of breast cancer and no research at that point. I was like, okay, I'm cured. I'm a survivor. Yay. And then I started about six months later, I had a backache. And I went in, you know, I'm kind of condensing this some, but I went in and they had, I did a PET scan. That's when I found out it was stage four. It had metastasized to my bones, to my spine. We did another chemo at that point and another PET scan after that chemo treatment was done and it showed more progression. It was at that point that my doctor said, well, there's nothing we can do. You've got 12 to 18 months to live. Do you wanna keep doing chemo that is obviously not doing any good or do you wanna stop and better enjoy your quality of life? I didn't like that answer. I talked to one of my other nurses. She said, get a second opinion, gave me another doctor's name. I went to a different doctor and he's like, no, 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 no. He sent my pathology to a friend of his. They evaluated it. He came up with a whole new treatment plan, totally going in a different direction, which had to do with this HER2 positive thing. And I've been doing different chemos. I've had regular and ongoing treatment of some sort or another since 2010. 
Um, I might have a break here and there, but for the most part, I have been in some sort of treatment. I have never had the luxury since being diagnosed stage four of being NED, no evidence of disease. I've always had some sort of progression, some a little bit, some a lot. Um, and if it's a lot of progression, we switch the treatment and see if that's going to work. I'm at the point now where I've used up pretty much all my treatments possible, and we're kind of going back to try what, something that I've had in the past, trying it again. Um, and we haven't really had a whole lot of luck with that. I've got a lot of progression at this point, and um, you know, there's been a lot of decisions that I've had to make over the course of the last few months, and um, I'm pretty much on my last treatment at this point. But, you know, as you can see, I'm sitting here, I don't feel horrible. Um, you know, you just do what you have to do to get through it and make the best of it.